Hi, I'm very pleased to be here to do this actually. It's, um, it's probably high time that I gave a, 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 more, a less formal talk about uh, iridology than I'm doing in my classroom at the moment where I'm stuffing their heads full of facts and figures. Uh, for you, this I hope will be a, you know, a, a pleasant and, and instructive and hopefully inspiring journey through a subject that, um, as Herman suggested, um, ha has sort of been downgraded a lot. In, uh, in, in this particular country, although it is very highly regarded in other places. Um, iridology is usually known as a complementary diagnostic discipline. However, you might be surprised to know that um, it, it's been developed largely by medical doctors around the world and in some places in the world, notably Russia, as Herman mentioned, also Germany, um, Korea, and China increasingly, it's becoming a mainstream technique. In some places, diagnostic um, efficiency of uh, iridology has been put as high as 80%. And when you're looking at studies that sometimes um, list the diagnostic efficiency of, um, of your average GP surgery at somewhere between 20 and 30%, that's obviously got to be quite significant. Good. Um, I want to... <laughs> I want to pick up on a point that Herman made just now, actually, which is about the 